Hello my friends, welcome to Pram Strings. I'm Henriette and this lesson today is about Phoebe in her petticoat from the Fiddle Time Joggers book. I'll play it for you first. <laughs> a lovely song and I'm sure you will have noticed that this is a duet for two violins and as you can see in the book from now on both parts will be played can be played by you so what we'll do is we'll split this lesson in half and you I'll tell you how to play the first part and then also the second part and I will also offer you an opportunity to play the other parts together with me in this video so let's see if that this works shall we so let's focus now on the top part and what I'd like you to do is to play, make sure that you play your second fingers wide on the D string. So will you join me? We're starting at the lower half of the bow. One, two, three, four. your finger importance to play the semi breves with long bows and to hold them for the full four counts. If you shorten these notes then you are going to have trouble fitting in the other part together because one part of the duet will be playing too short you see so one at some point is going to go a beat ahead so play the semi breves for four counts. Now let's practice this last note uh, so that you learn to count to four and one, two, three, four. That's it. So if you've done it correctly, you are at the middle of the bow after two beats. Shall we just check that? And one, two, three, four. That's right. So let's play the beginning again, shall we? We'll play it all the way through. One, two, three, four. fingers now um, in bar two and in the second line bar two as well. These two second fingers you want to focus on pushing your bow arm forward. You're playing these notes with long bows so your bow arm so your bow arm will need to finish straight in front of you. Look if I do it wrong, deliberately wrong, I'm going to the side here with my arm my bow slips like that and it might go over the fingerboard we don't want that so instead of reaching sideways with my bow I need to make sure that I reach straight in front this way so let's play, play that B again shall we this is the last note of bar two stretch your bow arm and that way you stay beautifully close to the bridge with the point of your bow well done very good now let's play the whole song together again, shall we? Let's see if we can do it without any errors this time. So we're starting at the heel of the bow. One, two, three, four.
well done. Let's look now at the second part. So we're going to play the second line of the first system and the second line at the second system as well. I'm starting on a long D here. So this gives you the opportunity to work again on your straight bows like we've done before. After four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> line and there you can see you play one finger on the G string followed by one finger on the D string and this is one of those instances where you can put your finger in between two strings and catch both strings so on unlike the first line where we hopped across with our second finger we're now going to put one finger on two strings Shall we do that again? So see if you can place your finger So I catch them both, can you see that? Now, some fingers of course are a bit thicker than others So for some people that will be easier than others So keep trying if you can't quite find it You might reset it again Until you get it like that Alright, so now let's practice playing the duet, shall we? I would like you to start playing the top part. So I will now play the bottom part and you can play it together with me as a duet. Then we'll stop for a moment, we'll talk you through it, and then you can add the bottom part while I play the top part. So first you play the top, after four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> when you play this video back again but now let's swap the parts over and I would like you to play the second part of the duet so you'll hear me play the first part but that is done deliberately so that we can sound like a duet but the other way around this time so I'm counting us in for four and you play the bottom part this time one two three four matter keep at it you play it again tomorrow and the day after tomorrow and very soon you'll find yourself managing this now if you don't want to switch your video on all the time although that is helpful you might record both parts on your phone and then play swap the parts and play together with yourself on a sound recording that's another possibility and some of you will also have a CD with this book or will have downloaded um, 
the accompaniment so you can find an accompaniment there as well. Please subscribe to the channel and write your comments and questions in the comments section below. I very much look forward to seeing you again in Ready Steady Go now. Goodbye!